I have uh, just a couple of loose ends to uh, pick up on. Uh, the first is office hours. Um, I do not know what my office hours are going to be yet because I don't know what my regular schedule is going to be. Um, based on the rate of transmission of COVID-19, uh, my uh, day job uh, is going to be in one of three different methods, either fully virtual, either hybrid or completely in person. And the schedules are all different for that. Um, so what I will suggest is look at the course instructor sheet and based on the course instructor sheet, it does suggest that I will make virtual office hours based on demand. So if you email me with a question, I can contact you again. Um, I will try to set up some virtual office hours when I have a better idea of my schedule and I will let you know what those are gonna be on the course homepage. Um, you can contact me uh, through email and this is the joys of working at home. I just have a little visitor there. Um, <laughs> You can email me. Um, my email is on the course instructor sheet. Um, what I would suggest is use the D2L uh, email, but please also uh, email me, uh, just CC that to uh, apauli 1 at oricountyschools.net uh, or even the apauli, uh, I'm sorry, I believe it's adam.pauli at uh, hgtc.edu. Um, both of those emails get pushed into my phone, so I will get those automatically. Um, and I will get back to you within a day, definitely that way. Um, I, I often forget about the D2L email, so don't rely on that one. Please also copy me on those other emails. Um, just a couple of other quick things. So that was office hours. Um, the discussions can be accessed through the assignments page. The Dropbox can be accessed through the discussion page. Um, if you look at your calendar, you should have due dates based on the Dropbox folder. Um, so it is written assessment one, written assessment two, written assessment three, and so forth. Um, I've done that because you have options this semester. So um, if you want to do the Columbus among the Tainos, you can drop that into written assessment one. If you want to do Montezuma had a zoo, you can drop that into written assessment number one. If you look on the content page in week one in those written assessment options, both of those will have a link to this written assessment one you only do one of those optional assignments per week. Please do not do both. If you do both, I'm just gonna pick one and give you the grade for that. Um, I'm not gonna give you any extra credit or anything for that um, because you have one per week and those assignments match up pretty closely to the content for that week and the readings along with the dialectical journal entries. Okay, so we have discussions, drop boxes, the quizzes can be accessed through here, but they're also in the content section. Um, this is gonna be good for you when it comes to those map quizzes. So if you go to the quizzes section, again, the map quizzes are open now and they won't close until the end of the week, or I'm sorry, the end of the semester. You do have exams. The exams will not open until the week that they are being taken. Um, so they will open on Sunday. They will close on the following Sunday. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, you cannot get into these yet. The last one is locked. You're gonna have to do identification verification for that. Uh, again, I don't know exactly how that's going to work out right now. I will put more information on that on the course homepage. Um, you might need to go to the testing center. I'm waiting for confirmation on that. Otherwise, you'll show me your ID and I will give you the, the, um, the code for that. Uh, communications, there's email there. Other tools, attendance. I will keep track of your attendance. I'll put a, a in each week so you'll know what you're missing and what you're not. If you are at risk of being withdrawn from the course, I will try to send you an email, but please make sure that you are monitoring, monitoring your own attendance. If I make a mistake, please email me and let me know and I will try to fix that. You can get your grades here. Um, and that's probably all you need to know there. Um, I believe that I have set the grades so that you can see the, uh, the, the, final, of, um, the final average, but um, it's 25% for the discussion forums um, 25 percent for the written assessments each week, uh, 40 percent for the exams, 10 percent for the map quizzes. So if you choose not to do any of the dialectic journal entries, not only are you not going to be uh, in the class because I'll drop you after the third week, uh, but you're also missing out on 25 percent of the points. So the highest grade you could get is a 75. So please make sure you're doing all the work and trying to get uh, trying to stay in that. If you have any questions, email me, contact me, go to the uh, instructors page and uh, find out how to get a hold of me. Thank you for joining the class, and I am looking forward to a great semester. Thanks again.